Everyone dies one day. Everyone. Even wolves. But not books. Not words. Words don't die. My son, three, who is a lot smarter than I am. Oh, F off, Rebecca. <laughs> he did not say that. What, did she just try to throw in like a random animal in there to make it sound more like a three-year-old said it? Dude, I love this whole genre of posts where it's just like these parents pretending that their children are saying super intelligent and just insane things, but it's all just fake and their kid is probably just off to the side like playing with Legos or watching Coco Melon or something. What's up, boys? You know, it's really been a minute since we sat down and just collectively got depressed. Recently on this channel, we've been watching a lot of videos, but I think today, it's time we just take a step back and really just reflect on ourselves you know you're gonna see some things in this video that are gonna open your third eye open your mind to things that you might not have realized about yourself so i hope you're ready for this video i want everybody to leave me with a deep quote in the comment section it can be yours it can be anybody's just leave me with something to think about and with that being said enjoy the video boys too deep for most to understand the man is painting but instead of painting the naked woman in front of him he's painting the girl drawing her behind him this dude is not gonna get a good grade on whatever this assignment is also i'm a little bit confused on what the message here is even supposed to be like what a naked people are bad <laughs> true beauty is actually the people drawing the naked people boom you ever think about that boom i guess here we have an illustration of the distribution of wealth in the world all of the money was sucked out of africa and is in america and europe i like how nowhere else in the world has any money either so south america mexico they are broke completely to most people Black Mirror is just another horror program. But to those with a sharper eye, a darker picture starts to emerge. A scathing satire of our very own society. Hashtag really makes you think. <laughs> it's like it's called Black Mirror because it's a, it's a dark reflection of our society. You never would have thought about that, but it's almost like that's what the show is about. And it's actually not that deep at all. <laughs> Average people hobbies, television, party, gaming, job, rich people hobbies, gym, knowledge, invest in mentors, and business. <laughs> ah yes, my favorite hobby, knowledge. Also, I don't think most average people's job is their hobby. Like, I'm pretty sure that most average people despise their job and would do anything to quit. But yeah, guys, I better not catch any of you normies out there partying. No like, socializing, no having fun and going out with your friends. You only can do gym, knowledge, invest in mentors, and business. Otherwise, you will never be rid. Before TikTok, before Tinder, before OnlyFans, before CNN. I'm so confused at what this is trying to say. You know that's what Tinder is for right it's to find people to do this with there's definitely still happy families out there i don't know what this person is trying to say oh man you never can box anymore like the old days you can't punch kids anymore like you used to be able to back in the 50s how times have changed elon musk assume you're always being manipulated who believes the media controls people everybody who believes they are being controlled nobody what's that like little fly thing in the air what is that some sort of bug i don't know why i noticed that out of anything in the post but i'm trying to figure out what that thing is and why it just suddenly appeared after everybody put their hand down maybe that's like the camera that the government is deploying to watch everybody i found it guys i found it it's right there god is the word good without one of the letter o's devil is the word evil with an added letter d yes guys god is good and the devil is bad this is profound information that nobody has ever ever discovered or thought of before ever you are really breaking down barriers here i mean this is unforeseen knowledge really seriously congratulations on your discovery friend zone disappointment stress confessions betrayal option at the bottom what is that you don't like having option doer 10 years later millionaire thinker 10 years later still a thinker i don't know why but the word doer just like doesn't look like a real word doer like, doesn't it look like it should be, like, from a different language or something? Remember when school was kind of fun? We used to play family. Fortnite <laughs> was fun. Kissing was gross. Music was always girly. Homework was easy. Rainbows were just rainbows. Christmas felt real. 
Every day was a good day. Everyone wanted to go to the moon. You're probably never going to see me again. So have a good life. I just like all of these. And then like Fortnite was fun, which completely takes me to like 2018. This person is probably like nine and is like, man, back in the day when Fortnite was fun and I was like a toddler. Like, God, dude, I'm getting old. Success tips. Remove your birth date from social media and see no one will wish you except your mom. That's like a just a tip to make yourself depressed. And that's that, my friends, is the definition of success. Maybe I'll try it, you know? Maybe I'll try it. R slash time travel. I think I figured out time travel. If you take a lamp and turn it on, light seems to move forward. Now turn it off. The light seems to retract or disappear. I'm only 14 years old, so I may be spinning nonsense, but it seems like the speed of darkness is the key to going back in time, because darkness seems to travel backwards. So if we can find out a way to almost disappear with darkness, then we can theoretically should be able to travel back in time. Oh my god, guys. He is Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Guys, I think we can all thank Immediate Elk 3197. Don't blame a clown for acting like a clown. Ask yourself why you keep going to the circus. How are you even supposed to apply this? How are you just supposed to somehow avoid all dumb people? That's like, that's just impossible. At some point in your life, you're just gonna uh, cross a path with somebody who's just a complete idiot, and there's nothing you can do about it. You guys are all crossing paths with me right now, and here we are. So I guess they're trying to put in an enchantment on a diamond hoe in Minecraft and they're trying to put loyalty three on it you can't put loyalty on a hoe <laughs> in chance 460 you know what they say all right from minecraft you never waste your diamonds on a hoe first we were like this then we went to this somehow it became like this now i'm like this oh my god and it ended in a middle finger now that might be like top three deepest things i think i've ever seen on this. they feed us poison so we buy their cures while they suppress our medicine. How <laughs> you see, ifunny.co. Dude, that last picture, they really stretched that to fit that in there. Also, <laughs> they spelled you wrong. I feel like adding the ifunny logo onto like any meme just either immediately makes it ironic or it le immediately makes it like the least funny thing on the planet. <laughs> I don't know. It's like one or the other. There's no in between. No cell phones. Just a man leading by example, showing his kids how to learn the old fashioned way through the pages of books oh yeah you say no cell phones huh well then what is she listening to music through huh what she's just got those earbuds plugged into her into her book don't feel bad if someone rejects you or ignores you people usually ignore expensive things because they can't afford them the joker quotes i'm like 99.9 .9 sure that the joker has never said this in any form of media that he's ever appeared in none of the comics none of the movies none of the video games okay i don't think the joker has even uttered these two sentences once and also what is this drawing why does he look like that picture with a deep message and it's a guy with no arms carrying bags of bricks on his shoulders and then like a plate of bricks on his head why doesn't he like have somebody helping him or something where, where is he going that he needs just like a couple bricks it's not even like enough to where he could actually even build anything kudos to the artist this picture has a very deep meaning Sometimes we are with the wrong person and this makes our life miserable. All I'm thinking right now is if the pencil sharpener and the pencil were together, wouldn't like the, the pencil sharpener just eventually kill the pencil because that's what pencil sharpeners do. Maybe there's an even deeper meaning behind this picture that we're not picking up here about how relationships slowly kill you from the inside <laughs> until you are nothing left. Anyway, on that um, extremely positive note, <laughs> I think I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace.